like to get high before I swim. It's like tuning a guitar, tuning a bass. The other guys are somewhere. Where are the other guys? Woo! <laughs> Man, the other fellas, they deserved a little bit of a vacation. We sent them on a little road trip, almost like a little treasure hunt. But they're not finding anything or getting anything. They're just having fun, drinking lots of wine, meeting incredible people, seeing the entire país of España. My man Adian, AKA Action Bronson, said he couldn't make it. I'm just having a me time. I'm tending to all things me. Seal swam here. This is seal shit. When the big homie's not here, we gotta step up double time. I think Mayhem got all it takes to ask the right questions. Excuse me. By any chance, do you have a motorcycle? The Alchemist has definitely come a long way. Despite what people think, I like fruits and vegetables. We've enlisted two specialists to guide them on their journey. Everybody has to have a drink right now. Everyone. Clovis, who could definitely force feed anybody one. Imagine how many people I saved just with not having water. And Alvaro, who is a Spanish wine importer. You guys know, you guys know Ganavan? You guys ever heard of Ganavan? This is Spain, the friends and family edition. Now, today, only, only eat and drink. That's, oh, it's okay that's for it. you? That's my kind of party. Okay, nice. <laughs> Ale. Without a doubt, the first stop has to be with Manel at Close Lentisquis. He's known to be the bubble man because he makes some of the most fabulous sparkling wines, a.k.a. Petnat, a.k.a. Ancestral, a.k.a. Method Traditional. <laughs> He's got the land, the history, and the know-how to make natural wine free from any chemicals and... This is 1989, my first vintage. Ah, wow. Holy shit. Oh, that's crazy. I think it's the last time the Mets won. We're taking you on a trip to 89. Uh -huh. Last time we was counting together, now it's yes. five bottles left. Five bottles, yes. <laughs> five bottles left. Now yeah, there's only four. Yeah. It's incredible. Thank you, Manel. Incredible. My pleasure, my friend. How many wines do you guys make? We are producing 22 different cuvées. We understand the vineyards and we try to put that uh, sensation into the bottle to present our landscape to the world. Well, you're doing a great job, and I thank you for everything. Thank you. Can we drink now, or are we going to cry? <laughs> <laughs> this is the legend. The Gio. The legend. Look like a legend. Oh, 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 oh. Alvaro, la selección. Bro, how are you? This is the one you make. This is the first vintage from Nuria. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Baptist generation. It's the white Baptist from Nuria. Yeah. <laughs> that one is incredible. Gold. Look at gold. <laughs> What's going on in that room? This is just the little breakfast. Just to be sure, you can afford the rest of the day. We have a sweet and salty mix with blackberries, chorizo. This is tortilla de patatas just made this morning for you. Mm. Yo, what is this? This looks like a little delicate pear tart. This is a um, cake of uh, apples. Apple. apple. Oh, oh, even better. Even better. <laughs> Bravo! We come in hot. We always come in hot. Ale! <laughs> We're filling up the gas tank right now. We're about to go on a mission. Vamos. They say you can get a good look at a steak by sticking your head up a cow's ass. White Bronco, White Bronco, White Bronco. But if you want to know about natural wine, you have to start in the vineyard. Guys, can you see that? Guys, come to take this. This is incredible. What is this magic over here? This is going to be harvest in one week. In one week, it will be perfect. When you know the seed is brown inside like that, you know it's the time. What, what, what is the name of this grape? Charello. 
Channel lock. This is the channel of the main plot. So we have. Yes, the 2006. There's a big model. Come, bro, come. Look what the nature gives us. Look. Oh my, my God. God. Look, wow. man. Manel, which grape is this? This is the Peri Noir Trumoy. You can eat very, very free because there's no chemicals in it. So oh you. Oh my God. That's this a bottle of wine right there. Bottle of wine. This is what love looks like. <laughs> <laughs> So the domain was yeah. founded in 1939. These were planted even before the domain was even founded. Exactly. Yo, you guys see how hot it is right now? Here? It's crazy, bro. No irrigation whatsoever. Exactly. So they never water natural? No. This yeah. is all dry farm. How man. often does it rain here? Only, only in autumn and in spring, not more. They wait for rain and pray. Manel gets naked and goes up to the summit yeah, and dances. Yeah, Super dry. What does this do to the crop? It, it struggles to produce, so you get more concentration. Got it. More depth, more complexity, more layers. So when you have that, you can taste the struggle. You taste struggle over there. Yeah. That's crazy. Vamos a ver las abejas. Ale. I gotta be honest. I don't want to play with the bees. I don't like bees. Like, what the f are you putting me with a bunch of bees for? Yo, look at him, man. Go play with the bees. Not so much noise. I don't want to go where no bees is at. One of us got to go. Is anybody here allergic to bees? F you. Each of them makes 25 kilos of honey per year. Each month, we take out the honey and the wax. We perfect the wax from the wine and the honey to start a second fermentation. Yes, every month. I'm very passionate. I am in love with nature. Nice and things to eat. Let's go. Ale. Arriba! Arriba! This is Cousin Disco, my friends. Manel, he brings us in like family. Yeah. You meet him in 10 minutes, you feel like you knew him in 10 years. <laughs> a lot of characters, a lot of transactions. Uncles. You know, uncles, family aunts. members. We like you on camera at all times. Come over here. Salud! Salud y forza canut. Armed with a baseline knowledge, they can be well-informed drinkers for the rest of this journey. I've seen about seven different type of grapes, but more importantly, I've seen friendship, I've seen love, I've seen laughter. Oh. Oh. I got a piss. Bad. I'm looking for a place. As the boys continue south to Valencia, they make a pit stop at a taverna of sorts, run by a pair of legendas that balances feeding the working class population as well as inebriating the jet set natural wine crowd. Mayhem also makes his triumphant return to seafood. Hey, yo, Alvaro, how the f did you discover this place? Oh, 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 oh. This is a working man's bar. This guy cooks one plate and that's it. When it's done, it's done. This is what we put you on. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. This is a farm in the fine spice. Está bueno? It's more than bueno. It's extraordinary. My God. Todo lo que yo toco es de aquí siempre. No hay nada después. Todo producto de aquí. Proximidad local. Oh my God. What is this? Tortilla. Tortilla de Mayra. It's typical of the fishermen. Fish with eggs. Oh my god. Oh. I'm back. Oh, you back. I just went home. Whoa. Welcome me back. It's been nine months since I had the nectar of the ocean. Oh my god. I am back. Oh. This Whoa. is uh, Fidewa de Marisco. Whoa. I haven't had a shrimp in a long time. I'm sorry I betrayed you. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> Heavy, 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 heavy. <laughs> Now for part dos of Mayanau's vineyard education. Welcome to Partida Cleus. <laughs> How do you have a bottle we just got here? Partida Cruz, a beacon of light in the Spanish natural wine movement, founded by two former architects from Italy, Massimo and Antonella. Consumers want to drink with them, winemakers want to beat them. It takes a lot to impress a man who's been to Moscow with Mob Deep. 
But even the alchemist is enjoying this picturesque setting. Massimo! ¿Qué pasa, Clovis? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Qué haces con esta botella? How are you? Very good, my friend. You know, these yeah. wines we always drink, drink all the time. Ah, you know what I mean? Yeah, this is, is the reason you are so healthy. Ah, sí. yeah. <laughs> Making wine is love. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Not the emotion. Exactly. Storing it is scientific, it's mathematic. You have to do well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> true. So basically, this is a cup mixed of love with algebra. I'm so drunk, I can't even talk. <laughs> I had something good to say. Love times algebra? Love my science. <laughs> La più bella, the most beautiful lady in this planet. And me, for me, some wine. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, tomatoes. You live your whole life, you may never eat a tomato like this. Todos listos, vamos a la car, vamos a la Let's go. Look at this place. Massimo and Antonella make a bevy of wines from Tripat to Malvasia to Garnache to. I, I trust they make delicious wine. We were the first ones to import Partida Greus into the States, and they put us on the map. It's incredible what the nature can give us, no? Yeah. Pure fruit juice. Nothing else. It's because the grape is good. Yeah. <laughs> this. I don't even know what to call I'll get back to you in a minute. I can't even put it into words what this is. <laughs> Grenache. This is a Grenache. Javier, the most humble and rural food, my friend. <laughs> we have got not money to spend for other things, but the quality of food and the quality of drink is very important. For us. Well, of course. Okay, la vale. <laughs> pesto is literally my favorite, and that's the best pesto I've ever had. Very fresh, so easy. Vaca, sal gruesa, ajo, aceite de oliva, parmigiano reggiano, y pinoli. Ah, oh, amigo! It's a meal for king, kids. Yeah, it really is. For me, it's a good explanation about what is natural wine. A lot of love for the matière, and it's created this one. That the two people we have today, that uh, <laughs> thank you very much because it's incredible. Thank you to Massimo. Massimo. Oh, Massimo. Oh, Massimo yeah. and so. And La Hefa. Yeah. Yeah. Life is all about nourishment, and love is a powerful vitamin. <laughs> Head south from Barcelona and stick to the coast. In about two hours, you find yourself on the northern edge of the province known as Castellón. This is a food show, right? Yeah. Welcome to the Restaurante Serra de Girta, Modesto Fabregat. We're gonna eat some of this incredibly delicious food. Here we'll have a uh, fideuá with a duck and tripe. Tripe is an uh, asshole, no? I mean, it you know, could be a little further up. Yeah, a little past it. Yeah. Shithole. Somehow that became a delicacy. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Bro. You don't know tell me you never ate ass before? Not tripe. <laughs> How many times? <laughs> I'm gonna introduce you guys to my boy, Roger Diaz from Sayed Les Foyes, who makes wine locally here. It's a very small Ale. producer. Ale. Roger's a high school history teacher. He makes a little bit of wine on the side, maybe 5,000, 6,000 bottles. So what happened? You just woke up one day and decided to make wine? Like, how'd this happen? More or less, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's the way the best things happen. <laughs> uh. Oh, la, 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 la. Yeah, yeah, damn, it's hard work. Look at those tomatoes, though. Este, no? Yeah, the green tomato is amazing, amazing. Que lleva el ceviche pulpo. Está muy bueno. Y al lado tenemos una fiegua de pato, de molleja de ternera y cerdo ibérico. Wow. A little fideuá. Ah, no, eh. A fideuá de noodles. Buen apetito. And it's an asshole, yeah. Describe your feelings. <laughs> the, the noodle part like neutralizes it. Nothing is like, oh, there's duck. Oh, there's got it. Fish. Do to the neutralizing noodle. It's a mix. It's a gumbo. Let's fill you right back up. Estamos poniendo un poquito de rape en la paella de pescado. Ahí pescado arroz y sopilada con tomate. Así se quita la gamba. Madre mía. Bullshit. Bienvenido a mi vida. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Yeah. The nectar of the ocean. 
The best bet. part of the paella is on the bottom, the burnt part. Of course. Of the you know I know that. It's We're going to scrape some bottom for you. There it is. Perfect. Mm. Nice little crunch. Perfect. Mmm. Mmm. Huh? Amazing. Mm. I taste saffron in the ocean. Hey, this is really good, man. Nah, it's fire. The only bad part about paella, you got to roll with five people to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo, Mayhem, I think it's time you hit him with a fly commentary. Oh, man, this is a special night. Al broke out the Star Cow shirt. Mayhem greased himself up. And the boys have finally made it to Valencia. They accepted a special invitation from a man named Jorge, who rounded up some of the best wine producers in the area, and then had someone make Valleja Unknowing to him that they had just finished another paella. What, what you guys need earlier? Don't tell me how to paella, man. You did. But that's okay. That's what we're here for. We're here to eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> It's a culture club, right? Exactly, it's a culture club. Yeah, it's for fantastic. Muncie is like a very traditional city. It's not like Paris where you're tripping over bars with natural wine, right? So we're trying to turn it into a community for the best food possible with the best, most natural wine possible. It's a beautiful cave of wine, really beautiful. Mariano is OG natural wine guy from the region here. And Juan is a young, up-and-coming winemaker. Ooh. That's his Chardonnay, Alachero, orange Chardonnay. It's a very old winyard with my grandfather. Nice. Delicious. He's been recovering a lot of family vineyards that haven't yeah. been worked in a while. To go back uh, to, the, to the roots, but with, uh, with yeah. the new roots. Your grandfather was not doing natural wine. No. No, no, that, you know what I mean? Every generation tries to do his own things. What do you think, Mayhem? Give me a word. Give me an adjective. Zesty and crisp. There you go. I don't know if that's an adjective, but it works. <laughs> ah, zesty is an adjective. It's not a verb. It's <laughs> <laughs> a traditional wine community against these guys. The conventional winemakers look at natural winemakers like the crazies. It's because they can't understand it. They don't understand it. Of course. Natural wine is trap music. Traditional winemakers is Melly Mel listening to trap. And he's like, nah, dog. Guys, we have done natural wine until 1901, until the revol industrial revolution starts. Can I say something? Just to finish, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> if there is chemical in the vineyard, it's like a, a dead child is dead child born in a bottle. You put something that is dead inside a bottle. He's a little upset. <laughs> I think it's safe to say. No should be in vino, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Horrible picture. Well, the fella's journey has come to an end. It's the last day and they're headed to Madrid to finish up. Just like the postman, no hail, no rain, no sleep can slow these guys down. Question, why are we here? Why are we here? I, Mayhem's got this. This is Angelita, probably one of my favorite restaurants in Spain right now. Local, produce, seasonal, great natural wine list. But it's more than local product because it's the product of them and the family. And they're famous for their parents' garden in the end. How could we not wow. have tomato? Tomato came out looking like watermelon. Mm. So we, we did a lot mm. of tomatoes this week. This might be the top tomato. It's been the theme of the trip. Mm. So everywhere we went, we ate incredible tomatoes. So maybe incredible tomatoes are just the norm in Spain during tomato season. How about that? I think we need to meet David Villalon. He's the owner of the restaurant with his brother, oh. named the restaurant after his mother, Angelita. Yeah. We made for you a special selection uh, for this moment for the ancestral wine from Ismael. Yepa! Ew. Which grape? Which grape? Okay. Red wine. Is Rufete. This is Afinador de Estrellas. It means the star Thank tuner. You. The star tuner. Or the nipple tweaker. Red That's red how you look at it. Look, it looks like them, man. Hmm. It does. He made it. Very reminiscent. Act pulled up. 
Whoa, what is that? Confited leaks. What's the, uh, what's the foam? We do this foam with the water and the broth. So it's the same broth that they cook the leeks in, made into a foam. You know what? That tastes like a gorgeous French onion soup. It's similar. It's amazing. For me, it's like you have meat. Yeah, it's yeah. only vegetable, but it's like you have meat. Wow. What high school did you go to? You're trying to win an award, huh?